It is Pokemon though. I still hear the Pokemon. It's just super tough stuff. It's just super tough stuff. You know. So let's try the other team now. Okay, um, this is pretty scary. Mostly because they have Gudra, right? Like, technically I can start Mouse Hold. And... Mouse Hold... Iron Hands? Could be good, I think. I think that feels the most consistent. We just need to be careful. I might want to start Rillaboom, actually. I just need to be careful in front of Heatran. And then we bring... Iron Hands and Urshifu in the back. It's, it's basically, we either start Mouse Hold Rillaboom or we start Mouse Hold Iron Hands. And, like, I can't really decide what it is. I just know that I need to taunt things. But GLHF to this person. We will scud. I didn't realize the pole was still going, sorry. Alright, so in this case, I kind of want to click Taunt and Fake Out. Okay, so that's pretty much a perfect turn for me, because I get to taunt them. And then, I get to click Pop Bomb, and Knock Off. So, let's see. This is a pretty good turn though, like I said. Well, I mean last turn was really good. They do switch into Heat Train. We go for the Pop Bomb. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that's rough. The Citrus Berry is probably going to save them. Five, six. We do get another crit, okay. Seven. Eight. Nine. It does save them though, unfortunately. I'm gonna go for the Berry for the win. We click taunt and we click. Well, technically, what do, what am I supposed to expect then from this Gudra? So 
So, I feel like this might be like an AV Gudra or something weird. But I still think that taunting them is the right play. That does a lot. And then we go for the turn. So you turn out into Urshifu. What up, my guy? How are you? They do go for the body press, which I think is smart. And here, I think my best play is going to be to bring out the one they call Hans. Hans! Yeah, we bring out Hans, we click Swords Dance, and we click um, Surging Strikes. And that's like pretty much always my best play. I don't remember exactly what they have in the back, so like, technically, well, okay, right, so they have Rillaboom, so if they switch in Rillaboom, I'm technically making a bad play and I should have clicked Close Combat. So they do that. start swords dancing and I think it's gonna be pretty hard for them to beat iron hands at this point like I kind of want to just swords dance one more time for posterity's sake and surging strikes again Cool, so they're forfeiting their Reflect in order to get that one fake out, which is pretty big for me if I'm being honest. I feel you, Gudra. We still gotta build the Gudra team. I can't decide if I want to do AV Gudra or if I want to do, um... Okay, so they do shake off the taunt. I think here... The important thing is probably gonna be to just get this KO, right? So, I'm gonna go for this, and I'm going to go for this. So they're basically like giving me their Pokemon for the exchange of clicking body press or shelter or whatever, right? Like, and I really don't know if this is a game that they can win, right? It's slightly annoying, but I'm hoping that Scarf Shifu can just pick it up at this point, right? Because now they have to bring out Heatran. And I can just click Swords Dance again. So we Swords Dance and we just Surging Strike. I don't know if what we have in the back is really good against Gudra, which makes things a little bit harder. Um, it's If it's Rillaboom, which I think it is, we probably just win because we can knock off them, right? Like, we can click Fake Out, Swords Dance, Knock Off, right? So they are gonna Shelter again. I am actually a little bit afraid of how much damage they could be doing. So I want to click Swords Dance, and ooh, I can't actually hard swap, can I? Um, I 
I'm just afraid... Okay, that's kind of what I was afraid of. I'm afraid of them body pressing Iron Hands this turn, which is why I wanted to click Fake Out next turn. But they do body press that slot, which gives me a better chance of winning. Um... Because now that I click Sword Stance all the times... Yeah, they have not clicked Shelter three times, though. They've only clicked it twice, if I'm correct. So, if we just check really quick, yeah. So, I'm at plus six attack. They're at plus four. So, this turn, I can click Drain Punch and Fake Out. And then next turn, I click Drain Punch and Knock Off. So we'll take the Rocky Helmet, they flinch, and get the Drain Punch. Ooh! <laughs> Yo, that damage though, that pure damage. Say something else. <laughs> Oh, man. They have to go for the body press right now. And it does some damage. It definitely doesn't do all the damage. We take those. We had everything we needed. We had Pop Bomb D's, we had Taunt. We had non prankster Taunt. Yeah, how you doing, Emmanuel? Hope you are well. He thought he had crazy defense, but you know what? He just couldn't handle the plus six drain punch. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we set up on it. I know when they saw that swords dance, they were like, ah, oh, dang it. Hey, come on, man. Come on, me. Come on, me. Um, okay. So, what can I actually do here, though? I kind of have to start the same thing as last time, or something relatively similar. Yeah, that was some damage, and they were at plus four too, but even if they were at plus six, like, we were just gonna, like, dump on them. So we probably honestly want to do the same thing. Alright, let's see if our friend Norples here has some plays. Would I want to do hard trick room? Been used, think it could be funny. Um, we could do hard trick room. We could do, you know, like, Gudra. Torkoal. I mean, probably not. We don't have to do Torkoal, but, you know, we can do Gudra. <laughs> Indeedy. Ursaluna. Like, I don't know. You know, we could do some Solas. Probably, you know, Cress. Cress, Ursaluna. Cress, Ursaluna, Gudra. I think I was already talking about that. Cress, Ursaluna, Gudra. Yeah. 
so unfortunately we have to gamble on whether or not they have scarf do we though dude do we actually have to though dude because like what if dude what if Clodsire Gaming, um, Clodsire's good. I've definitely seen Clodsire picking up usage. But, so if they have a Scarf Urshifu, then, okay, that's fine. In that case, is this the same team that we just faced? Because if that's the case, they might be able to just switch out and pop bomb me, right? Or I mean, they might be able to switch out and like ruin me with a SCOTUS. So I'm expecting them to potentially screw me over by switching into Gudra right here. Which is why I thought about not targeting that slot right now. Yeah. So technically my better play was actually to pop bomb the Heatran and to knock off the Gudra. And if I had had if I had done that, they would probably um just quit right but instead we should be losing our mouse yeah so a little bit unfortunate but i mean i'm the one who like didn't read that like it was actually really obvious in my opinion, so like, I did think about just going for the- Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, we do live it. Okay, so I knew what my right play was there, I just didn't actually go for it. And that was pop bombing Heat Tran and bringing, uh, and knock offing the Gudra like I was thinking about. If I'm correct, this is actually like the same team as uh as last time too. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring out my Urshifu, I'm just gonna close combat them, and I'm gonna go for Swords Dance. Okay, so we get the close combat KO. So let's see. I don't think we're really out of the waters at all. But I think we definitely have like a quote unquote right play next turn. And that would be. Hmm. Well, because they should bring out Urshifu, right? And they have to protect Urshifu. Okay, they do that. So, I'm gonna fake out them again, and just click Swords Dance. Oh, 
Okay, so that can keep us in the game, kind of. That just loses us the game, so GG's. Yeah, that, that burn is, like, devastating. The burn just, like, auto-loses me the game. Unfortunately. Does a lot more this time. I mean, we were just gonna lose anyways, though, right? Like, they played well. I would definitely appre uh, appreciate if this person's name was, like, more mature. Because I would have more respect for them beating me, but, like, now I just kind of have to be like, okay, well, cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, we win on moral points. <laughs> oh, God. Because, I mean, yeah, like, lesson for all of you who play this game, like, don't make that your IGN. Like, just don't. Like, if you feel like you need to make your IGN something inappropriate, like, just don't play. <laughs> but no they played really well like um if i did make that that pop bomb knockoff play that i was talking about it would have been like oh <laughs> but we didn't um Okay, so, here we can pretty much start, like, Frigraph Mouse Hold, I think, feels strong. We go Frigraph Mouse Hold, we bring Iron Hands, well, we probably need Rillaboom, right? And then, Urshifu is really good into this matchup, but it's not, like, all in all perfect right so technically i think grass terra grass terra iron hands might have been my best last we'll see though um Honestly, I do understand, though, like, why people don't like Crash Center or Saluna in this format. And it's mostly just because, like, it is that strong. You know, like, if you don't... It's, it's the way that I look at certain comps like that is, like, it shapes the entire meta, right? Like, if you can't stop a, a Crystallia from setting up, you probably lose to this matchup, right? So it's like... Pretty much every team in the format needs to be built to have a way to deal with this in some way or another, right? So... Unfortunately, what I have to do right now is click Imprison. And then pop on these. Because we just don't know if they have a Trick Room Flutter main. There's a really good chance that they do, honestly. Um...
like if I had their team, I would probably use Trick Room Flutter, so. One, two, three. <laughs> They'd be so pissed. Four. Oh my god, we missed. We missed, dude. F me. Uh, we probably just lose now. We honestly probably just lose. That was funny while it lasted, I'll give it that. Surging <laughs> uh. You gotta give it that, it was funny. But honestly, we're not in a bad position right now. There's literally one thing they could have that would put us in a bad position. And they can't really switch out Iron Hands, like... So that does look like a Fairy Terra, which is good for me. No, it's Water Terra. Okay, we're screwed. Honestly, I really don't know why I didn't just Surging Strike that slot, um, but obviously, like, would you actually pop bomb them in this case, right? So they go for the Moonblast on Mouse. Mouse doesn't live, unfortunately. Which means we need to bring out Rillaboom. They bring out Hershey. Okay, um... This is definitely not, like, a good scenario for me, right? Because I'm stuck clicking Surging Strikes. And I, okay, well, I mean, I basically have to do this, right? But... question is, can we beat what they have in the back? And that is either probably, I'm guessing, Ursulina or Cress. I mean, I would definitely imagine them bringing Cress here. Or I mean, Ursulina. Um, they don't have Terra anymore. So I definitely think we have ways out of this. Especially if they, they're going to bring out Heatran. So if they bring out Heatran, we can always just click Surging Strikes and Woodhammer. Ooh. Okay. For a second there, it looked like we weren't going to get that KO. So they might have actually had their heat train heat tram trained for that to be a roll, uh, which was a little bit scary.
there's no way out of this for them. Yeah, GG's. So, the Fluttermane with Water Terra was definitely really good for them. Um, even with us missing the pop bomb, we still pulled it off. <laughs> so, you know, at least there's that. <laughs>